Hi and welcome back to Waplow and Wapt. Um, we're just going to have a little play with the chart feature within Wapla. Going to do a fairly straightforward query and then I'm going to show you different ways to chart that query. So let's make a start straight away by creating our server connection and we're going to call that county count. And what we're going to do is analyze our university table and see how many universities reside within each county. So over to our steps, database actions, and our database connection, and we're going to be using the training connection as usual. And then we're going to create a query. And that query is going to be based on the university table. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be selecting the county and then we're going to be creating the count of the county. So if we aggregate that and we're going to be looking for the count. And we're going to call that um, as an alias C count. Keep it nice and simple. There's our query that we uh, created. Select county. Count of county as count from a university group by county it's automatically added the group by clause because it's detected that that's required because we're doing the count nice and straightforward okay let's save that now let's have a look at the how we can chart that in different ways within wapla so let's add our frameworks Add our container. Let's just save that and we'll call that um, charter. Let's save that. Okay, first thing obviously we're going to have to do is create a link through to our query. So data server connection and our server connection is going to be to county count. Now we've done that, we can actually go into our chart section. So I'm going to display, we're going into chart. And you see immediately we have a basic chart shown. Our data source is our county count query access labels will be the county and our values that we're going to chart will be the count let's save that there we are we've got the uh, rather strange line chart showing the counts it's not really the type of count, uh, graph that we want so let's just have a look at the options and at the moment we've got our type is line let's change that to bar that's a much more useful table but even still we've got missing legends there and we have to mouse over to get the data set de detail so let's just change that to a horizontal bar that gives us the sort of information that we're requiring Let's open that up in a browser. There we are, we've got a visual representation of the number of universities within each county in the UK. It's also handy for highlighting some data errors where it's missing, and I don't think Bath's a county. Um, Norris Island and Scotland for that matter, but let, let's not be pedantic about the data that I've inherited. So that's how to use the uh, chart facility i'm just going to very quickly show you the different options of chart um, let's just make that a bit bigger while we're busy we have the options first of all we can uh, change where the legend is shown so if we want that to the left we can change the legends over to here We have our uh, full-size bars, 
we can have multicolour versions, although there is a limit on the number of colours there, so that if you've got a, a large chart like this, that's not so much use. We can stack them, although that will have little effect on that. Let's just change this to a pie chart. Again, a really useful representation, but again, we have this limitation, unfortunately, with the number of colours. Um, though we can add our own colour theme within there, obviously. Let's go back to our polar area. I don't know whether you ever come across this. In the UK, we get these for tax spending representations. And I don't think anybody really fully understands what they're all about. And we also have radar. Um, and again, the size of the peak will show you how big or how many universities reside within the county lots of different lots of different options in there um for this one obviously the horizontal bar is the most relevant um there we are that's how to use the chart feature that was a fairly quick six minute lesson i uh, hope that's just helped you make a start on how to use the chart and thank you for joining us